Dear colleagues, welcome to the new lecture, which is part of the Agroheritage. In this lecture, we will discuss about the oldest fruits in modern human history. Information of the ancient origins of fruit culture comes from archaeological remains of fruit and from pictorial and literary evidence. The high culture of Mesopotamia and Egypt produced a rich art in which fruit is a common motif. A trove of paintings and sculpture is found in Egyptian tombs and monuments. The Sumerian discovery of writing in the 3rd millennium BC and Egyptian writing somewhat later inaugurated the literary tradition that survives today as a result of near indestructibility of the baked clay tables used for cuneiform script, the wide use of stone carving for hieroglyphs and the preservation of papyrus in desert tombs. Zori and Spiegel Roy proposed that fruit culture, in contrast with mere collection, orig originated 4000 to 3000 BC. Although some information before this period is based on archaeological remains, much of it is by inference and conjecture. Perhaps the earliest pictorial evidence of fruit growing occurs in a one meter tall alabaster vessel known as the Uruk vase found in Jemdet Nasser levels at Uruk that date from about 3000. BC. And this vase showing attendants bearing fruit in a wedding ceremony, probably between a priest king and the goddess Inanna, or so, so Istar. Uruk is one of the is on the Euphrates, just north of Basra, modern Iraq. The imagery depicts water at the bottom of the vase, followed by plants, barley and sesame and domestic animals and men bearing baskets of fruits with offering presented to a female, perhaps the goddess Inanna, later known as Istar. Unfortunately, the fruits cannot be identified, but they tend to be large and to various shapes. The development of fruit culture evolved the Tulotsi the tigris Euphrates civilization of Mesopotamia and the Nile Valley culture of Egypt. Later, infusions of species and technology came from Greece, Persia, Turkey, India and China. By classic times, in Greece and Rome, fruit culture had achieved a sophisticated level, not exceeded for over a millennium. The date palm Phoenix dactylifera is a diaceous palm, thought to be indigenous from northern Africa through the Arabian Peninsula to northern India. In antiquity, the date palm was esteemed from India to North Africa for its sweet fruit, consumed fresh or dried, for its valuable wood and leaves, and for its long life. As a result of its many virtues, the date palm was transformed into a sacred tree, symbolically referred to in Babylonian and Assyrian iconography. It may have been the first cultivated fruit <coughs> and was well, well established in the Middle East during the Bronze Age. The precise origin of the cultivated date palm is open to conjecture. Vavilov considered the origin of the date palm to be the mountains of northeastern North Africa, in Ethiopia and Eritrea, but there is evidence that the first cultivation occurred in the lower Mesopotamian basin. Archaeological evidence places date palm stones in the Ubaidia horizon, about 4000 BC, in Eridu, lower Mesopotamia. A pre-dynastic representation of a palm tree, perhaps a date palm, with gazelles has been dated 4000 to 3000 BC. The date palm is adapted to long, extremely 
hot summers with little rain and low humidity, from pollination to harvest, but requires a source of underground moisture. All cultivated dates set fruit only in dry desert conditions, in contrast to a number of wild species which do not produce suckers and may be adapted to rainy conditions. Since the plant is a monocot and lack a deep root system, irrigation is essential. An Arab proverb describes the date palm as its feet in running water and its heat is in the fire of the sky. The cultivated date palm is easily propagated from seed and, unlike its wild relative, can be vegetate, vegetatively propagated from offshoot suckers at the base of the plant. Clearly, the production of offshoots is one of the principal characteristics of domesticates. At present, all cultivars can be propagated in this manner and one to several suckers might be removed each year. Offshots can be planted without roots, but mounding of soil around the base of the mother tree facilitates their rooting. Irrigation is essential to ensure survival of offshots and high productivity. Since the date palm is deaceous, production of fruit by pistillate clones requires the pres presence of a source of pollen in present-day commercial plantations, one male tree to 100 females is sufficient if pollination is performed by hand. In some cases, twigs or branches of the male inflorescence from 10 to 15 centimeters long and bearing 30 to 50 flowers are tied on the female cluster. But this process must be repeated because of variation in time of maturation of pistillate flowers. Pollen has also been distributed by airplanes or helicopters. In antiquity, mass planting of desirable pistillate clones of date palm would have reduced fruitfulness. Had non-productive staminate clones not been introduced, the relation between artificial pollination and fruit set was known to early Sumerians and is mentioned in the cuneiform text of Ur just south of Baghdad in modern Iraq, nearly 2300 BC. By the time of Hammurabi, the problem of the division of the crop between the landlord and the tenant gardener, who acted as a sharecropper, was defined and penalties for lack of pollination were assessed. The practice soon took on religious religious significance as illustrated by bas reliefs showing pollination of sacred trees by king and gods eagle-headed genie the sexual nature of the pollination process was probably known as the date palm became a symbol of fertility Theophrastus writing in the 3rd century BC clearly mentioned the parallels and refers to the pollen bearing plant as male and the fruit bearing plant as a female. Date palm pollination can be found on Assyrian base reliefs. While date palms often produce small and non palpatable fruits, while the domesticates are associated with larger size and considerably, considerable amounts of sweet pulp, Increased size and quality of the fruit is associated with selection carried out under domestication. Continued clonal propagation of large fruited dates <coughs> through offshots would have increased propagation ability along with fruit size. Genetic improvement ensured from selection of elite wild genotypes followed by natural intercrosses with elites as well as with wild clones. Since the palm plant is deaceous, selection must have been confined to pistillate clones. However, selection of male clones may have been facilitated by the presence of metaxenia, the direct effect of pollen on morphology and ripening of the date palm fruit. Thus, selection for fruit characters may have been a method of gamete selection. 
At the present time, there are over 3,000 cultivars, of which 60 are widely grown. Some cultivars have been known for thousand years. Cultivars have been divided into soft and semi-dry, based on moisture content and an increasing proportion of sucrose, rather than glucose and fructose. Selection has altered fruit quality, storage, saccharine, salt tolerance and spiciness. Olive Olive, Olea europea, is a slow-growing, long-lived evergreen tree uniquely adapted to the climate of the Mediterranean basin and consider it as a defining future of this climate. Indigenous types are still widely found with archaeological evidence as far back as 12,000 years ago. The cultivated olive originated about 6,000 years ago in Asia Minor but was generally unknown to the Babylonians and Assyrians whose source of oil was sesame and walnut. The olive was long known in Syria and the Holy Land and was introduced to Egypt by Syria between 3000 and 2000 BC. By 2500 BC, the ancient site, city of Elba in northern Syria had fields containing between 500 and 1000 olive trees, producing and exporting various types of olive oil. According to Hitti texts, Olives were cultivated in Anatolia and imported to Egypt from the time of Ramses II, where there is a mention of the use of olive oil for illumination and as a skin emollient for cracks and sunburns. The olive moved from Egypt to Carthage in North Africa, reaching Italy in the 7th to 6th century BC. Olive along with grape, is the most mentioned fruit in the Hebrew Bible. Its importance has permit, permitted the Western world and the olive tree and oil are symbols of beauty, freshness, fertility, wealth, fame and peace. Greek myths associated with the olive involve Hercules and Athens. The importance of oil is reflected in it in its widespread use for religious purposes such as consecration ceremonies, anointing in Judaism and Christianity. The world Messiah, Christ, literally means the anointed one. Olives were introduced to South America in the 16th century and introduced to Mexico, California and in Australia in the 20th century. In Mediterranean climates, the olive is often grown without irrigation, although yields are low. Moderate pruning is performed to shape trees and to remove unfruitful wood. Harvest is usually carried out by hand, with the time depending on the use. Olives might be vegetatively propagated by cuttings from buried truncheons large branches with incisions are made every 8 to 10 centimeters or from knobs ovule that occurred at the base of the trunk. Theophrastus made the astute observation that basal cuttings root better than terminal ones. Early propagation from seed from unique clones probably increased crop diversity while the introduction of clonal propagation made it possible to fix unique genotypes. Olives have been propagated from grafting since antiquity. Many present-day cultivars are considered to be thousands of years old. There are two processing steps involved in olive utilization. The first is transformation of the bitter fruit to an edible form and the second is oil separation. Somehow, Neolithic humans learned to consume a small, bitter fruit, almost inedible and somewhat poisonous, as a re result of the phenolic glucosid eluropein found in various concentrations in all olives. This was accomplished by soaking, a technique still used. 
Further steps in the detoxification includes pounding addition of lye, sodium or potassium hydroxide, or lactic acid fermentation induced by sodium chloride. There is ample evidence that so-called primitive societies learned to leach a number of foods to reduce their content of bitter substances. Australian aborigines used a combination of soaking and roasting with many native fruits and seeds, just for example. Later in the Bronze Age, olive processing technology was invented to separate the oil. <coughs> Olive became the first great industrial crop, grown more for its oil, as a medic medicinal for cooking and for illumination, the light is very bright, than for direct consumption. The religious practice of anointing probably derived from the medical use of olive oil. The ancient golden menorah with seven arms is an oil lamp. The earliest process of oil extraction was by crushing the fruit in water and spooning the floating oil. Later improvements were the use of oil presses of various types. Typically, water was added and oil removed by, dec by decantation. At present, 90% of the world olive crop is, presented, is pressed for oil, which is used for culinary purposes. The remainder is used as a table olives fermented product. Recently, <clears throat> oil consumption has increased with the recognition of the beneficial properties of oleic acid and, decree and the increase in consumption of various types of table olives as a gourmet product. Cultivated olives are characterized by large fruit, large proportion of flesh and high oil content. At present, Olives are grouped as oil types with fruit containing from 20 to 28 percent oil used for olive oil production, while types with less oil are for table use, whole or pitted, and for picking. Fig. The common fig, Ficus carica, is a gynodiaceous species consisting of monoaceous wild types, Capri fig and distillate domesticated. Figs, born on small trees, are considered one of the classic fruits of the Mediterranean basin. Signs of fig cultivation are found at various Neolithic and late Neolithic sites, and from Bronze Age sites in the 4th millennia BC. Figs could be found on Roman well paintings. Domestication was generally contemporary with olive and grape in the Eastern Mediterranean Basin. It was mentioned by King Urukagina, circa 2900 BC, <coughs> and became known to the Assyrians as early as 2000 BC. Egyptian records indicate fig cultivation in Canaan in the 3rd and 2nd millennia BC and there are many paintings of fig from antiquity. The fig is usually propagated by seed as well as by cuttings or layers. Propagation by grafting and budding was described by Cato in the 3rd century BC. The fig is marvelously adapted to insect population. <coughs> the fruit is siconium a fleshy branch transformed into a hollow receptacle bearing minute flowers on its inner surface and opened to the outside by a small orifice osteol. The, mon the monoaceous caprific or gold fig, the name indicating its lack of word, contains both staminate and short style pistillate flowers within the siconium and serves for the multiplication of the parasitic fig was blastophaga psens. Pollination is carried out by this tiny, about one millimeter wasp, an association described by Theophrastus. The insects overwinter in the larval stage in the pistillate flower, pupate in early spring and emerge as adults within the siconium. The wingless male 
impregnates the female inside the ovary and then perishes. The winged female exits the siconium through the ostiole, where she is covered with pollen from the staminate flowers clustering around the orifice. The winged female then migrates to other small figs, deposits an egg in each of number of pistils and then dies. However, when the female enters the common fig, which contains only long style pistils which are not adaptable to oviposition, the insect perishes but not before pollination had been accomplished. There are as many as three crops of figs in each season. The first crop, called profici, are formed on wood of the pre previous year's growth. They may contain the wasp or if uninhabited at all, called blanks. The inhabited profici are usually dark green, firm and plump, while the blanks are yellowish green, ribbed and inclined to be spongy. The next crop, called mammoni, are produced in the axis of the current season's growth and are often pollinated by wasp, wasps from the profici crop. The last crop is called mame and remains on the tree during the winter season. Parthenocarpi, the ability of the fruits to grow and mature without fertilization, is of two types, vegetative and stimulatory. In vegetative Parthenocarpi, fruit development occurs without any stimulation, oviposition or pollination. In stimulative Parthenocarpi, insect stimulation for or fertilization is required. In most caprifix, the siconium fails to set unless pistillate flowers are stimulated by oviposition with larval development of the wasp. Some caprifix are partly partenocarping, producing seedless fix, more or less freely, some are completely partenocarping. The domesticated Smyrna type figs are completely non parthenocarpic and thus require pollination. This is often accomplished by introduction of the wasp bearing caprific, hence the term caprification. Some cultivated figs are partially parthenocarpic in that the early crop, called brebas, is parthenocarpic but the second crop is not parthenocarpic. Common type figs such as Mission the Tato and Brunswick's are completely parthenocarping in both crops. Domestication is, is associated with increase in size of the fruits, psychonium, and sugar content as well as parthenocarpy. Other char characters of fix include various colors, white, amber, red and purple, in the skin and flesh increased sugar content and resistance to splitting when mature. There are many known cultivars. Condit has described over 600, many of which may be synonyms. Condit's Adriatic, now called Conadria, was the first release from a breeding program and is characterized by high fresh and processing quality and resistance to splitting. Figs are consumed fresh or dried and often processed as a paste for pastries or canned. The fruit can be fermented and distilled into alcohol. Psychomorphic. The psychomorphic Ficus sycomorus originated in the savannas of eastern central Africa where they grow spontaneously and reproduce by seed. The tree is usually propagated by cuttings. It was introduced to Egypt in pre dynastic times before the 3rd millennium BC and became an important cultivated plant in the early and middle kingdoms. Although the fruit was not considered exceptional, the tree was highly prized and held sacred, especially to Hathor, goddess of love, and the representation of fruit and tree are found in bas leaves and commemorated in songs. Fruits and leafy branches were placed in funeral offerings. The wood is decay resistant and is themed for household utensils, construction, boxes and coffins. The tree was introduced to the Levant, present-day Israel, Lebanon and Syria, as well as Cyprus. It was known in biblical times and became a food for the poor. 
flowers are pollinated by Halcidioid wasp, Ceratosaurus arabicus, but the plant was introduced to Egypt without the wasp. All the fruits developed partenocarpically. They did not enlarge or ripen successfully unless wounded. The fact is found in a famous quote from the Hebrew Bible. I was no prophet, neither was, a, was I a prophet's son, but I was a hurt man and a piercer. Mistranslated at Gauss Gatherer in the King James translation of Sycamore Fruits. The phrase refers to the practice of ripening the fruit by scraping it. Wounding of the fruit results in ripening through the release of ethylene. This remarkable technology, technological discovery, was known to Theophrastus who writes, the sycamore cannot ripen unless it's cracked by the Egyptian scrape it with iron claws, the fruit thus scraped ripens in four days. Bar leaf showing a sycamore tree with gushed fruits during ripening indu in induction. Knives used for gashing during ripening induction. And gashed sycamore fruits as a result of induced ripening. Pomegranate, Punica granatum, native to the southern Caspian belt, Iran and northeast Turkey, is a Bronze Age fruit that has been cultivated for 5,000 years. Its presence in Syria, the Holy Land, Egypt and Mesopotamia indicates domestication. The Latin name Punica refers to Cartago and the fruit was once known as the apple of Cartago. Remains are found in Nimrud, Arat and Jericho. The pomegranate was introduced into Egypt from Syria about 1600 BC before the 19th dynasty during the inflow of Semitic people, Hyksos. The fruit is commonly illustrated in Egypt art from the New Kingdom and widely found in Jewish and Greek art. The pomegranate is easily propagated by hardwood and softwood cutting. Domestication is associated with increased fruit size and sweetness and the shift to clonal propagation. Sometimes, some types have degenerate embryos and are called seedless. In Egypt, juice from pomegranate was consumed and converted to wine. The rind was prescribed as a medicinal and the flowers were crushed to make a red dye for leather. Based on extensive iconography, the pomegranate seems little changed from antiquity. Peel color varies from bright red to leathery brown. Grape Wild grapes of the Old World, Vitus sylvestris, are indigenous to the South Caspian Belt, Turkey and the Balkans and were wi widely distributed in the Northern Mediterranean area, uh, area, including the Black and Caspian Seas. Wild grapes are the Asians, perennial forest wines and thrive in cooler and more humid conditions than do olives. Harvest of wild grapes long preceded domestication, as evidenced by carbonized seed in numerous prehistoric sites in Europe. Presence of the wine grape in the Near East is dated as early as the 8th millennia BC, but eastward expansion was limited by lack of winter hardness and poor adaptation to high summer rainfall. Toward 5000 BC, and perhaps earlier, the domestic grape, Vitis vinifera, migrated from Anatolia to Syria and thence to the Holy Land. Signs of Bronze Age domestication are found in Mesopotamia, the Holy Land, Syria, Egypt and the Aegean. By the 2nd millennia BC, there is evidence of vessels for wine storage as well as of raisins. A number of grape species are found in the New World 
and these types were domesticated after the European encounter with America. One American species, with this Labrusca, known as the fox grape, was rapidly domesticated while others were hybridized with Vitis vinifera to develop phylloxera resistant rootstocks. Muscadines, Vitis rotundifolia, native to the southern United States, were preserved by Native Americans by drying, but was not cultivated and can be considered as a recent domesticate. Grapes are easily propagated vegetatively, permitting extensive plantings of unique clones. When vines are in contact with the soil, rooting often occurs at the nodes, layering. Hardwood cuttings also root easily. At present, most grapes are propagated by grafting in order to take advantage of the rootstocks resistant to soil-borne diseases and insects. The great genetic change in domestication was the switch from diaceous to hermaphroditism, a mutation in the dominant allele of the male conferring gene that suppresses development of the genesium. Other changes associated with domestication include an increase in berry size and sugar content and selection of various skin colors white, green, bronze, pink, red and black. Recently, selection of seedlessness has become a key factor for table grapes. grapes. Seedlessness occurs from both early embryo abortion, stenospermocarpi, or from partenocarpi. The seedless grape, Su tanina, known as Thompson seedless in the United States, is an ancient Turkish cultivar and still one of the most widely grown for table grapes or wine. The cultivation of grape involves extensive wine training and pruning and in no other fruit crop are these practices more important. The Hebrew Bible is rich in allusions to these practices. The replacement of tree support with arbors of, or trellises is amply shown in Egyptian iconography. Protection of grapes from birds and thieves is a common feature of the early cultivation of wine, and the construction of walls and towers is, is associated with vineyards in ancient Israel. Various techniques were developed for overwhelming, including covering sprawling wines with soil. Grapes were preserved in two ways. The simplest was sun drying, and dried fruit raisins were prized for their concentrated sweetness and long term storage. The transformation of grape juice to wine occurs almost naturally but requires anaerobic conditions. The fermentation of juice into wine was probably based on beer technology and older practice. The culture of grapes, viticulture, and the technology of winemaking, enology, are common terms in biblical writings and became infused in Judaism and Christianity. Although drunkness was frowned upon, wine was the beverage of choice in ancient Greece and Rome. Wine is prohibited in Islam, but grapes and raisins are highly prized. At present, wine is the major use of grapes, far surpassing table grapes and raisins. Thank you for attention.